guys, so this is your girl Cadelia from Pins.com from Roxbury, and I am here with Miles Harden, and he is the choreographer for the movie Red Pill, and I just want to ask you, for the audience, how did you get involved with this project? So, um, I am best friends with Tanya's daughter. Okay. Um, like, we're inseparable and joined, like, practically joined at the hip. And um, I happened to be at Tanya's house one day, just like sitting at her kitchen table, eating their food as I usually am. I love to eat too. And um, she comes to me with her laptop and she's like, this is an idea that I have for a movie. And this was at the beginning of 2019. And I was like, I went through the whole concept board that she made and I was like, this is really cool. Like, I absolutely love it. If you need any help, please let me know. And then, um, didn't hear anything until maybe the last two weeks of October of 2019. And Maya, her daughter, happens to be at my house. And she goes, my mom, remember that film, like that movie idea my mom uh, showed you? And I was like, you mean eight months ago? I know, this is how it is with artists. <laughs> So like, yeah. I was like, you mean, you mean that thing from eight months ago? She's like, yeah, my mom's doing She was like, yeah, my mom's doing it. Are you available in the next two weeks? Because my mom wants to know if you're still down to help. And I was like, um, well, I got to move a few things, but sure. And she's like, great. And as soon as her mom found out that I was on board, um, I got all the emails, everything. So like, I I eventually became the choreographer for the movie, but I did everything. I set dressed, I shopped, I was the set PA, everything. It came out so good. And so for all you guys that don't know, it's Red Pill. If you want to watch the movie, go to redpill.com. It's a thriller. It's really, really good. Um, I don't want to say too much. Um, I'm pretty sure you can probably look on YouTube for the trailer, but it's. But if you want to see the whole movie, go to redpill.com. So now, how long have you? So I've been a professional dancer for 16 years. Um, I started classical ballet training at three. I went to professional at 12. Um, specifically in choreographing this movie, the day before we were set to shoot those scenes that require choreography, Tanya was like, so I need like, I need like 32 pounds of choreography. Um, and I need it by like 12.30 tomorrow. It was already the next day. She's like, um, and what's so funny and again about having great friends and great people in your life who mention your name in rooms you're not in, I guess, um, I guess she was like, oh, we need movement for that. And my sister Maya was like, you know Miles is a dancer, right? Like, is a so really just, good... So he's just like is, a one-stop shop for everything. It's like a she really... Didn't, she, didn't it is to, like, she didn't need to do much. Yeah, that's it. And you know, I mean, <laughs> she was... And Tanya was like, oh, yeah. Like, you do with everything. Great. Oh, yeah, <laughs> so great. Sometimes. And so, um... And just literally, you know, being an artist and Tanya trusting everybody, in, everybody on this project with her to know, to know Tanya is to know her creative genius 
and to know that she is a mad genius and to know that she sees she has the power to see you before you see yourself. I don't know what you mean. So now, last two things I want to ask. Okay. How does it feel to finally be outside of New York City? And don't worry guys, we are like social distancing. We are wearing masks. We only took it off to do the interview, but we have been wearing masks, so don't trip. Anyway, so I just want to know, how does it feel to be outside in New York at a premiere? And also, what is it to plan? So, my Instagram is at underscore Miles Harden, M-I-L-E-S-H-A-R-D-E-N, and to be outside with humans, to touch, like, to touch each other, even if it's just for a moment. To hug one another, to embrace of course, the other social people, and, we have masks. and I have, I have a, I we had a, a I have a mask. Yes. Yeah. Don't worry, don't worry. But you know, to just be like, okay, but just to like hear someone else's voice that's not over a screen of some sort is such a blessing. <laughs> And so to be here and to in Harlem, in Harlem, and to see it at this scale is beyond beyond words. So we have it. So thank you for being on my show, and I'll give you out my information so you can check it out. And um, thank you for having me. We'll be back with more interviews. So stay tuned. <laughs>